Nova Scotia is relaxation and peacefulness. There weren't very many cars. It was just orchards and green and ocean. You get amazing coastal riding through these tiny little fishing villages. But you also get the interior farmland and, of course, riding along the Bay of Fundy's, getting to see the highest tides in the world. Nova Scotia is gentle and welcoming and delicious. They fed us so well. The fish is so flavorful and fresh and rich. The scallops just blew me away. Delicious, absolutely top notch. There's so much more to the trip than just the riding. The farm to table, sea to table movement, great wineries in the Annapolis Valley region of the province, and the history of Canada. Nova Scotia really tells the story of Canada. I love back roads. I have about six months of biking behind me and the leaders spoiled me rotten. They made me feel like a rock star. You know what my highlight was? All the family run farms, the ice cream stops, the little coffee shops run by two women that welcomed us as if it was their own home. All the places we stay are run by people we know. The restaurants we go to, the fish has been caught that day and the restaurant owners and chefs are buying fresh fish down on the wharf and then serving it to us that night. Nova Scotia is special because of the people here. The Maritimes, it's a quieter part of Canada. There's not so much tourism that you see here. It's more of a local feel. It's off the radar. I didn't know how beautiful and magical this place was, how, how nice the people, the food's incredible, and there are a lot of charms and treats on this trip.